Hello everybody, welcome to the official live cast of the Group B Round 3 match between Ratamo and Arzawain. Um, the colours are very similar so we're going to put these on to red and blue to make it simple. Ratamo in blue without an ogre, Arzawain in red with a basic ogre. I can show you the group here and you can see that if Arzawain wins he will qualify for the knockout stage. If Ratamo draws or wins, he will qualify for the knockout stage. So, um, I don't know who won the toss, but I imagine Ratamo won the toss and chose to receive. <laughs> oh, wow, this is a, is this a double for Mighty Blow? Okay, yeah, yeah, it's weird. Ratamo's build is weird. <laughs> I remember now, there's no Ogre. There's a Mighty Blow Blitzer. A Tackle Blitzer, no dodge at all. A dirty player. A sure hands, a very strange team. Another dirty player on the bench? Or, yeah. Very, very strange team, uh, Ratnamo. But he's he's in pole position here over Arzawain. Uh, Arzawain with a more normal looking team of five guard plus, a, plus the uh, thrower, so six guard. And then tackle I would have rather had a dodge there I'd rather just have two dodge and lead a thrower so quite like the Arzawain build or I did whereas now I think I prefer the block ogre and the way you win games is three dicing every single turn with a block ogre and hope it kills something I mean I did think already think the way to win every turn was three dicing with a with a guard ogre but if your whole plan is three dicing every turn with your big guy, maybe it's better for it to uh, have block A. Oh, and for background about the coaches, if there's a pickup, I can tell you that Ratamo is Finnish and qualified on PC via the RPS Divisions of Death. Arzawain is Spanish and qualified through the Season 3 official playoffs. I don't know why either of them took Imperial Ability. Maybe they weren't feeling very well. <laughs> but for some inexplicable reason, they both picked Imperial Ability and one of them will qualify. Which is crazy, isn't it? <laughs> I am nice. I'm just, if, people, if people can't take a joke at all, then there's something wrong with the world. I still feel you can make a little joke. I mean, you can see what the draw is, right? Six guards. Six guards is pretty decent. So is two blotches. Um, but the other, the other team with the mighty blow and the tackle, I find I find Ratamo's build very strange. Very strange. Maybe they bought into the Dimmy G uh, propaganda of Nobs OP. I mean, they, got, they get a lot of skills, right? They do get a lot of skills. The problem is they're just not a good team. So does the extra money and the extra skills make up for the fact that they're a bad team underneath it? And I don't really think it does. But obviously other people do think it does. And I mean, that made a removal there, right? The uh, extra skill. So, no, actually it didn't, but it could have done. <laughs> so, like, that's basically it, right? You make the judgment call, which is also what you're comfortable playing as well, right? And confident with. Hey. Not that the confidence is an important part of the game, but the fact that you're confident is important, right? Because... You're usually confident, not because you're a delusional idiot, but because, you know, you've played that team a fair bit and know how they work, etc. Okay, well, positionally expensive foul, but makes a Kaz, so it was an excellent foul. <laughs> an excellent foul. This is a, it was a little bit dodgy positionally. 
And whether it'll cost him or not, it probably won't because he made a cast, right? So that's a great result. Already a great drive for uh, Ratanol here, making a Kaz and a KO on guard players. It's not a Bogre, it's the lamest Ogre ever. It's completely generic, basic Ogre. That's why he's got Bonehead. What a loser. What an absolute loser. Um, yeah, we, we can't have them look like this, right? It's weird, they're way too similar. It'd be a nightmare to see who's on which team here, so we're just gonna go with uh, red and blue. Yeah, honestly, Arzawain, uh, everything else he's done in his past, this, <laughs> this is one of the worst things you can do is to take a, an ogre and just have a basic ogre when you compare them to the other, the other knobs in this group. Uh, well, not in this group actually, is it? It's the, it's the other group. The knobs in the other group. probably going to foul that guard, isn't he? He's probably going to foul. It's not a good foul now, right? Because he's already, he's already stunned. So it's not really a very good foul. But he might do it anyway, just for like the weight of numbers and dicing, basically. I mean, this is looking very good for Ratamol getting the draw, at least, isn't it? This this drive is not done by any means, but looks rather secure. Two men up, ball, you know, quite far in the opposing half. Yeah, it doesn't foul. Good, good, sensible, sensible non-foul, and not only two players up. It's two. It's two guard guard blockers. Card wrestlers, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> These guys can both get knocked down and then just stand up next turn again. Oh, not if they're really broken, though. Jimmy, it's a knob off. It's a violent knob off. 3D with mighty blow does nothing. You do nothing. leader isn't he instantly and he could get a big foul or oh and that 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 means he doesn't stand firm he chains out his guy so he's not punched by an ogre next turn very nice best part of stand firm is when you don't use it obviously <laughs> Four. <laughs> it's a pal. So this is now actually a better foul. Well, it's not actually not the guard's probably the better foul tag, isn't it? But. He'd, he would be kind of better stood here than stood there. But 
he's just got to go for the two assists on it and go for the guard. I think he's just got to foul the, the guard. You have to. Powers this goon and cazzes him. That's what you get for standing up every turn to get knocked over. Badly hurt. Should have all that, shouldn't he? Instant. Instantly about 18 seconds ago. <laughs> There we go. Maybe just making sure he didn't misclick, right? I've misclicked before. I've like, I've said on, on stream like, oh, won't Apple that. And then because I've clicked straight, straight away, I've accidentally clicked like, don't Apple. Or, you know, I haven't wanted to Apple it and I put it by mistake. Or I've wanted to Apple and not. So I, I understand making taking a few seconds to make sure he doesn't misclick, to be fair. Uh oh, 3D Blitz, lovely stuff. Mighty Blow on the Ogre and another guard. And all of a sudden, Arzawain is making this very difficult for Ratamo. And I have to come back up the pitch, but the Ogre's a problem with that, without an Ogre of his own, right? <laughs> Step one is beat the UI, yeah. Oh, I hate that. Hate that tag. Absolutely hate that tag. Despise that move. <laughs> I think he's just going to score. I'd have definitely like put the guard in here, right? And then just use it to punch everything. Oh, 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 oh this is this is risky. I don't know how he didn't put the guard in here. I genuinely don't know how he didn't put the guard in. There. That would have given him 2D into 2D here and this 2D here as well. And instead, he might get his ball carrier served. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. I guess he's got to dodge this guy, yeah. Honestly, he should have moved him to there. He can still surf the ball. He can still surf the ball. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. He needed to be, he needed to be here. I mean, he could have still served the ball, but it would have been a lot harder. Oh, I hate, I hate putting him on there. Like, just on the off chance, you know, he rolls the dice. Like, that aren't hard dice. But no matter how hard they were, like just just don't have a chance of doing it, right? Like even if he'd even if he'd moved this guy to there, it would still just be like a four three to dodge through. Four three two two to to one D the ball and serve is pretty decent, right? He could have just he could have just been in. This just like makes Arzawain go for this.
asking a double rush. Yeah, he's really going for it. He's going for the 3D to get the POW. Yeah, this is what I would have done. And that was this was such a mistake not putting this guy there and not put not putting this guy there and then going on the sideline. A bunch of mistakes for Ratamo and it looks like they're all going to be punished. What the hell was that push direction? Dude! <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, rush. But it could have been a double rush, right? He could have just pushed him there and it'd been a double rush. There, that was... Oh, Ratamo. Ratamo, Ratamo, Ratamo. Everything had gone right for him. And then he did that. I guess he's got like a dodge 1D blitz pickup skull. But against a, against a stand firm guy, so maybe he's just got a dodge pickup dodge. Oh god, it's horrible, isn't it? He could 1D there and then like rush this guy down for an assist. That's pretty bad. It's mad that it was so good for so long, but then... When it looked terrible, that was not the solve to, uh, to stand on the sideline. Oh, that's the Blitz. Okay, so he's definitely just going 3-4-3 three, three to Scott. No! No! Wait, can this guy reach? Oh no. Problem with this is I just don't think I mean he gets he gets two down players up next turn. I guess he gets to stall it now. But there's gonna be an ogre in the in the area. Which is not what you want at all. Doesn't blitz with the ogre. I've definitely gone for the old ogre three dice. <laughs> I guess he's going to blitz the thrower and then go for the pickup then. But 1D blitz with wrestle isn't so good when you want to pick up the ball. Okay, I'm bamboozled. This is the problem by not going for the like pick up score next turn, you're giving ours away in turns to react and just make it that much harder for you. There's a three four from the guard thrower. No. 
No, he's rushing first. That is better there. I, I did like that rush. Oh, blitzing. I haven't blitzed yet. I like that rush about a million times more then. And removes him. And picks it up. And wrap them all. Is, uh... Yeah, he should have either not stood on the sideline or scored. <laughs> and then he should have tried to score last turn. And then now, I don't know what he can try to do. Uphill the ogre, right? Is his only play. Uphill the ogre for pals. It's basically strat A, B, C, and D. Nah. I don't think this will be enough. It's a guard and then, you know, so we've got two guard stand firmers near the ball. Uh, Viking Cop, unfortunately, is uh, pretty much screwed. No, he doesn't need a nil-nil. There's no playoff. Um, that I, I misspoke before the live cast. Um, if it's a nil-nil, they stay on 2-2. Two -two. And then it goes to head to head between Viking Cop and Ratamo. And Ratamo has the head to head over Viking Cop. So there will be no playoff um, in this group. So, yeah, Viking Cop is essentially out of the running. He needed to win more than 1 0. He absolutely needed more than 1 0. This might be a perfect turn 8 stall here, actually, because eh? Arzawain's in a little bit of a pickle, isn't he? A little bit of a pickle. A bit of a pickle. Oh, there we go. Not, not that much of a pickle, he just rolled a 3+. plus. But to me, that's a massive pickle, having a roll a 3+. plus. Now, Arzawain might get the score, mightn't he? I wonder if he should have passed it to him. It's probably what he's thinking now, isn't it? I guess he can just run up with this guy. Or this guy. Double rush. Don't re-roll it. Or maybe even do re-roll it and just don't have a re-roll. Yeah, yeah, no, it doesn't matter. This is turn seven, so yeah, just run up here, double re double rush. Double rush, re-roll it. This guy's got to stop these, right? This guy's got to stay where he is, so this guy's got to double rush. Does it? So our next turn, four, five, six, seven. It's a two, three. 
two two yeah two three two two next turn without a reroll well Alzawain's looking a big favourite right now to get through maybe even two nil but things can happen though knobs are at their worst on offence that's what Dimi the expert tells me the knob father tells me it's their offences that are terrible and their defence is good so with that in mind you know maybe Rattamore really should have scored when he had the chance or not got served Remarkably okay with just getting scored on. Um, yeah. Feel like, you know, this should have been a dodge rush and then a double dodge blitz. And while he failed that, I think that was the only thing to do, right? Was just hit this guy. I guess you could have dodged, double rushed, and uh, based him. It's the pow. Right, so here we go. Two, three, two, two. Making a 3D first with Mighty Blow. A little bit greedy, but understandable. These knobs, you know, this score isn't nailed on, so try to get a bit more damage first. Failed and got KO'd. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Right, so Rattamore's two guys stay out. So he's only got 10 players. Wait, he's only got 12 players? He's got no Ogre and he's only got 12 players, Rattamore. Unbelievable. Meanwhile... Uh, Arzawain's still got 11. Wait, no, wait a minute. Arzawain's blue. No. Ratnamore's blue. Oh, God. Why is it so complicated? <laughs> Arzawain is red, and he's lost the bodyguard. He's still got 11 players, but he's down a bodyguard. Honestly, but it, look, it's even worse like this. Now they, like, look exactly the same. <laughs> now it's just literally... Who is even... This is just a massive knobs... And I can't tell which knob is which. So we've got to keep it red blue. It's even it's even harder without it being red and blue. Right, yeah, only ten players for Ratman. Both the Vazawains came back and both of his stayed out. So that's pretty lucky unlucky, isn't it? One in sixteen knockouts for Ratnamore. Very unlucky. Every single knockout roll gone against him. Brutal. But still, he's got a chance. Because he's playing against knobs. <laughs> So the nil-nil draw is looking an increasing possibility which would put Rattamore on four points and he, with a head-to-head -head versus Viking Cop, that would uh, see him qualify. So at, the, at this point in time, Rattamore has to play for the nil-nil, doesn't he, really? There's no point in, you know, trying to turn over ours away in here. Just hope you can hang on and get a nil-nil out of it. Whoa! What a rubbish ogre. 
unfortunately there is no real way to exploit this is there there's still a screen across everywhere and plus he doesn't really need to as I say he can just try and hold out for the nil nil yeah I really need that bow slamming in the guard instantly means he does need a full pow gets it removed flip me well that's pretty good isn't it it's gonna be hooked up everything now isn't he I think <laughs> seeing as some things are based it makes sense to just base everything now which is a very high risk mediocre reward strategy <laughs> <laughs> but we're doing it anyway. That can still be the right thing to do, right? It doesn't sound very good. True. <laughs> yep, he does have more consistent lightning blow. That's true. Well, yes or no, right? There's more chance of the ogre getting knockdowns on 3Ds. But, um, one in six times he doesn't get hit at all, does he? So. Oh, it's a stun. Wow, moves in. I thought it was the ball carry for some reason, because he's blood. The ball carries all the way back here. Hasn't picked up the ball yet. Getting a bunch of pows and stuns. But not removals. And Ratmore's going to get some hits back next turn. Oh, fails the pickup. Could go in the crowd. It doesn't. Wow. So he gets some hits back here, right and well, but not too many because his guys are stunned. <laughs> Is the problem. Get the power there. Mighty blow. Does nothing. You'll do nothing. Oh, wrestles himself down. Oh no, it's a throw it doesn't wrestle himself down. Okay. I would definitely move this guy forward six. And then if he fails to pick up, he gets surfed, right? So now he's got to divert something back. Which, okay, he has something right there that he can divert back. But he's not going to divert back. No, this is very exciting now. If this, if this ball pickup fails, he gets surfed. When's he going to do the pickup? Is the question. Soon. Two days of doing nothing. Like it's good, isn't it? You do get good pressure. So I, you know, to be not be completely unfair to knobs for a moment. You do get good pressure when you get it. The problem is you don't get it for very long because you can't just keep giving up hits, right? Your armor, your Lionel's are armor eight plus, and your uh, blockers are only strength three and stuff. 
don't have block that of their own. Okay, so he did dodge ten. But like for a brief period of time, you get to base things with stand firm, and you can do something with that sometimes. But I mean, they absolutely suck. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest. I like blitzing the thrower a lot. Guard thrower is a great target, isn't he? You know, or any or any lineman. A low AV. But the fact that the uh, thrower has guard in his defense lives. Defenseless is a really good target for sure. Oh, this is a one day. Dude, no. <laughs> no. You had a mighty blow, but it's a guard, 2D, 2D this. Yeah. Hmm. Turn 13. It's turn 13 for Arzawain to have the ball in hand and, like, be pretty much anywhere with it. Like, I can't believe that one day. I don't know what he thought. I guess he thought it was his own guy who had guard or something, right? Like, looking from here, maybe he just thought the guard was his own player somehow. Oh, absolutely killed his turn there. Killed his turn and spent a reroll. Yuck. another guard player free. Oh dear, what a disaster. Could have followed there and then surfed the uh, lineman. Oh, actually he couldn't have because he would have fended him so he'd have been stuck on the uh, tackle. I mean he could still have wanted surfed him. Hands off to a blodger. Both down. Okay. Reroll gone is uh, pretty nice for Ratamo. More knock down there is also pretty nice. By the way, this <laughs> this game started half an hour after Mr. Pages and is is further ahead on the turns. <laughs> Very glad I didn't do Mr. Pages game live. OK, 
Okay, he's going to double rush. He stacked them both and is now out of rerolls. Oh dear. Oh dear. That's a huge, huge KO. But using both rerolls to guarantee that your tackler can never hit the blodger seems a bad idea. Call me crazy. But guaranteeing he will never be of use. Spending two rerolls to make sure he will never be of use. Not a good idea. Not a good idea. That is... I want to say terrible. And I mean, that you can see why. I don't need to say shit because it's obvious, right? Like, he got behind the ball. The ball, who wants to go forward to score. What he could have done was just move back. <laughs> and he'd be here. <laughs> and now, this looks difficult for this guy, because the tackler can hit him. But instead, he, mo he rushed to give Arzawain an assist for his blitz. And used both rerolls to do it. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Terrible play. From Ratamo. And that looks like Arzawain will be making the knockout stage. Wow. I mean, he's still got a chance. Obviously, he can. He can. I mean, looking at this, he can. Uh, he can hit the ball with a wrestler at the moment, maybe. Put this is the throw, right? So we can punch him, get two dice on him, and then hit the ball. But God, that double rush was. It was a poor. It was so outrageously poor. Got to be aware of the situation, what your opponent wants to do next turn. He was always wanting to go up this side. He's only got three turns to score. He basically had to go, he had to go here. Just get your tackler stood here. And he's got no chance. Yeah. He's got no rerolls, he's not making safe moves first. He's not even standing up this tackler, right? Just making blocks, he's not moving this guy. Moving this guy. Oh my god, he's double rushing before standing up the tackler that he's just sacrificed. Move your men! Safe moves first! <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna rush to here to make us a 2D, isn't he? Oh my god, this is his scoring threat. He's not even getting him back. He's not even getting the tackler back in the game. He's going to fail the rush. No, he doesn't. Two dice. Full pow. <laughs> Why not? Well done, Blood Ball. I can't believe he didn't even get this guy back in the game. Like, the tackler could have been here. Ready to do something next turn, maybe even. There you go. That is. That I mean, it was it was absolutely terrible play, right? It was terrible play, but um, he saved it by rolling some twos and then some pals. So, yeah, yeah. Well done. Well done. <laughs> Drew me mental, hello, key. Imagine how it feels for me. <laughs> Imagine how it feels for me.
<laughs> Arzawain failed a dice roll and <laughs> with that it's looking like it will be a nil nil it will won't it it'll be a, it'll be a draw or a win for Ratamo um, Ratamo can't actually win the group well can he not on 1-0 you would have had to have won 2-0 Ratamo to win the group yeah, he needed a 2-0 to win the group. Um, but... So now he's just going to finish second. So he just has to... Uh, I mean, not let this guy get chained, right? All he has to do is not let this guy get chained. And he has qualified. Pals him, and that is it. That is it, GG. Fancy transition, yeah, thanks. Going for, he's going for the 1-0, uh, but it, it makes absolutely zero difference at this point. 0-0 or 1-0. He might think he has to do the playoff versus... Uh, he might think he has to do the playoff, right? <laughs> because if he draws 0-0, you can see that he's he's on 2-2, the same as Viking Cop, so he might not know that it comes down to the head-to-head. -head. But it does come down to head to head, and Ratamo will finish second on head to head. Yeah, honestly, yeah, the midweek nobbing. It was all about the ogres smashing into each other. It was great. That was a lot more fun. This was uh, this was less fun. I do not like Ratamo's build without the ogre, but you know he has he has qualified and uh, ahead of Arzwin as well. So. You know, fair play to him. Oh wait, okay, right, you're not going to believe this, you're not going to believe this, but I was so confident that it was done on head to head, but the head to head thing was just for Gabias. <laughs> oh, I guess they're going to count the Slade Black Mage. The Ceremal is already playing the playoff? Okay, well, oh, okay. Okay, well, I might... Right, I may have misinformed you all. I may have misinformed you all. Okay, it's nil-nil. So what that means is... Viking Cop and Ratamo are completely level in the groups. Right? They've both scored two, they've both conceded two. And that makes them level. Now, the crazy thing is, the reason that I thought head-to-head -head would matter is because there was a message today, Gabby has had to drop out of the tournament. That means that Slade Black Mage will advance out of Group D as he won the head-to-head -head tiebreaker versus Ceremol. There is no head-to-head -head tiebreaker. <laughs> I'm going to reply with. Um, 
so yeah now that's weird isn't it so I'm not sure I'm not sure maybe there is a head-to-head -head tiebreaker they said if the rules right so then I'll, I'll read the announcement here it says um, one higher number of win no sorry one score two higher number of touchdowns scored three lower number of touchdowns conceded for cases of equalities even after this I'll let you consult 5.6 of the rule book okay let me consult 5.6 of the rule book um, oh god this is the teams where is the rule book where <laughs> what? main information I guess okay official rule book 5.6 Head to head Okay, that is correct, right In case of a tie between two players only, head to head If the tie is between player A and player B And player A won his group match against player B Then player A is ranked better So, after all of that it is Ratamo. He should have known that beforehand. I should have known that beforehand. And uh, he should have been very confident that a nil-nil was good enough for him. So, reading the rules is very good. <laughs> so there you go. Frankie wins the group. Ratamo is second. Congratulations, Ratamo. And Frankie, one, two, nine. Frankie wins the group. Ratamo second. And... Uh, yeah, commiserations Viking Cop, who, who misses out on head-to-head. -head. And thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.